still in Brelham when I was five, and we, me dad, mum, we moved to, to Beckham uh, when I was six, 1939. We come, come to Tamora in 1965. My dad said, oh, we'll, we'll go and get a bigger bakery. And then so we decided we picked Tamora. So that's how we, that's how we ended up in Tamora. All, right, all the bakers started till 3 a.m. I spent all my life getting out of bed at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, you know. We used to get the, the plough from the local fl party's flour mill and uh, we used to bring it down in a little tractor, a little four wheel, little baby wagon, you might call it, you know, and, it, and bring it all down and we'd lump it all in, into the flour room and uh, we'd bring down whatever we needed, whatever they could put on, you know. And, might be a couple of trips a week because it's only a little wagon, but uh, in about the, about the 80s, I can't just think of the exact time somewhere about there, we sold the bread section of the of the bakery and I just carried on uh, with the pies and all the small stuff, you know, and uh, we were always uh, trying to keep a very high standard and that's why we used to sell so many pies, you know, it's a, all through the winter months, you'd, you'd be making three or five hundred dozen pies every week. That's a fair few pies for a little bakery, and I'm still always baking at home and baking pies and sausage rolls and cakes and whatever for the wife and for my friends and all that. So I, I still, I still got a passion for doing that. And uh, where the roundabout bakery stands at the moment. Uh, it used to be what they call Wilson's Corner. It's a big double story old building. And uh, I, used, I owned it at the time. And a massive big storm come through and it picked the roof up and it landed over at the BP service station. I pulled it down and dismantled it. And all I ended up with what I wanted was just a, a bare block of ground. and. Uh, and I sold it to one of my friends as a garage and, and he in turn sold it onto the roundabout bakery which is still stands at the present time. In uh, say the mid 40s, that I can remember the old tiger moths from the flying school in, in Tamora. It was about, would I estimate there would have been about say a dozen. And I can still hear the sound in the head of these old tiger moths all droning along. They'd obviously come from the moor and would follow the Maroole Creek down around there and oh, it'd be one of their training runs, but uh, I'll never ever forget that. Uh, I think that's that's what uh, sort of got me into flying. I just I just had that bug there that I wanted to learn to fly and, and the opportunity was at Tamora when we first come here. I've been uh, been with the Aero Club uh, ever since then, and I'm still a current member of the of, uh, of the board at the Mora Aero Club. And uh, I, Shirley, and I, uh, we've been married now uh, 61 years, and uh, we have two boys, two sons. We have uh, four great grandchildren, and uh, two little girls, uh, three little girls, and one little boy. Yeah. They're all, they're all lovely, yeah. To be kind, uh, to help people when you, whenever you can, and uh, that's why I like to make, make a few cakes and bits and pieces and give them to my friends and all that, and uh, and uh, just catch up and have a yarn. And the area club, of course, we, I go out there and meet the folks and all that out there, and, and I like my golf out there, and they're all, uh, I'm into vets play with the vets and they're, they're all elderly like myself and they're great model blokes and uh, it's a amazing great friendships and uh, I really enjoy that, yeah. I love them more, I do. <laughs>